हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज हेना तलाटी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमारो न्यूज फोर पीपल डाइड इन अ लैंडस्लाइड इन अ निजारपुर नियर बोरा गांव इन असम्स कैपिटल गुवाहाटी ऑन ट्यूसडे द विक्टिम्स ऑल ऑफ हुम वेर लेबरर्स वेर बरीड अलाइव अंडर द डेब्रिज कॉज बाय द लैंडस्लाइड फॉलोइंग द इंसिडेंट इमरजेंसी टीम्स रश टू द स्पॉट एंड रिकवर्ड द बॉडीज According to the police the victims were living in a rented house in a area where engaged in the construction work Talukdar said that the landslides have been reported from another half a dozen of the places in the city including Kamakhya Kharaguli Hengarabari Silpapukhri and Chandamari colony but there were no casualties This takes the death toll of the year the flood and landslides up to 42 Scores of vehicles including school buses were struck on the road as their engines failed in the flood waters which have also entered hundreds of the houses in the smart city Massive traffic jams were reported from many areas with the vehicles stranded for several hours All educational institutions have been closed till June 15th said the official from the Kamrup district administration It further stated that the schools will remain open for only those students appearing for their exams. Incessant rains since Monday night led to knee-deep water on all major roads across the city, while at some places water levels have crossed the waist. The approach road of the Guwahati railway station was also submerged. The India Meteorological Department issued a red alert for Assam and Meghalaya and predicted heavy rainfall for next two days. The Regional Meteorological Center in the Guwahati also issued a red alert warning and predicted up to isolated extremely heavy rainfall from Tuesday to Thursday. Other than this, the weather office has said that widespread rainfall is expected along the thunderstorms in several places over the northeastern states between June 13th to 17th. ASDMA in its daily flood bulletin said that authorities have opened two relief camps in Guwahati city where 617 people were taking shelter as of now. with the regional meteorological center in guwahati predicting extremely heavy rainfall over the next few days the situation is expected to deteriorate further and more people are likely to throng the relief camps the entrance and the approach road of the guwahati railway station was totally submerged which was inconvenient for the passengers scores of vehicles including school buses were struck on the roads as their engines failed in the flood water which have also entered hundreds of the houses in the city the kamrup metropolitan district administration has issued a advisory asking people not to venture out unless absolutely essential in view of the incessant rain An east-west stop runs from the East Uttar Pradesh to Manipur across central parts of the Bihar, sub-Himalaya and West Bengal and Sikkim and Assam at mean sea level. The weather reporter said that moisture incursion is very likely to continue due to the strong lower level winds from the Bay of Bengal to northeast India from June 14 to 18. Under its influence widespread rainfall accompanied with the thunderstorm lightning with extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places is very likely to continue over the northeastern states from the June 14th to 18th embankments roads bridges and other infrastructure have been damaged by the flood waters in Barapeta Chachar Chirang Demaji Golpara Kamrup Morigaon Nalbari South Salmara Tumalpur, Darang, Dibrugarh, Kokar Pahar, and so Udalguri. It added, the mighty Brahmaputra is flowing about the danger mark at the Nimati Ghat in Jorhat district. ASDMA said, monsoon has arrived in Gujarat and light to moderate rains are likely across the state in next five days. The IMD said on Monday. Participating in the meeting of the Weather Watch Group, IMD officials said there is possibility of 96 to 104% rainfall during the entire monsoon. Giving information about the rainfall in the state in the last 24 hours, officials said that from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., rain has been recorded in two talukas of two districts in the state. 
So far, the highest rain has been recorded in Nadiad of Kheda district that is 7 millimeters. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. <laughs>